How's everyone this morning? This is a wonderful morning on a lot of levels. Is the sun still shining outside? Yes. That's a beautiful thing, right? Yes. And is, is it still going to be warm today? That's yes. a beautiful thing as well. If I could sing, I would break out into that happy song, but I'd like to keep my job so I won't sing that song. But we're here for the 10th anniversary, isn't that a wonderful thing, family? The 10th anniversary of the Richard Ledinsky Senior Award. And that's a happy occasion because we get to recognize three public servants that have really gone beyond the call of duty and, and to bring all of you out here today and their families. And so we're going to get started because we have a lot in store for you in terms of this recognition. I'd like to first start out by congratulating and thanking the committee to, that put this all in place. And that's um, Frank Ledisky, Esquire, son of the late Richard Ledisky Sr. Dennis Finnegan, <coughs> the first mayor of the bank. Thank you, Mr. Finnegan. Latanya Bryant who's Chief of Staff, Department of Human Resources. Waving your hand there, okay, fine. Pamela Beckham, I know she's running around. Beckham, I'm sorry. Chief of Training, Department of Human Resources, Pam, over there. And then our Kathy Hammond, who is Director of Administration of the Mayor's Office. There are three words I'd like for you to speak and, and I'd like for this to be your, your takeaway. So repeat after me, dedication, dedication commitment, commitment, innovation, innovation. And that describes those folks here today because dedication, commitment, and innovation equals impact for a lifetime. And that's what these people have done for the city of Baltimore. What I'd like to do first, however, because we need to understand, look back on this journey of 10 years and understand why we're here today. So I'd like to introduce first Mary Angela Mahoney, who's the daughter of Richard Lejewski C. Good morning. Good morning. May I first be, before I begin, may I first introduce the members of my family. Um, my brother Richard and his wife Dusty, my brother Mark, my brother Frank, and his son Matt, and my son Patrick. Although we gather today with great happiness and excitement for the 10th anniversary of the Richard A. Ledinsky Senior Award for Excellence in Public Service, I must begin with a sad note by acknowledging the loss of our mother Angela on September 28th of last year. My mother was here for the early presentations, but as her health declined, she was no longer able to attend. However, she looked forward to seeing the program and discussing the winners. On behalf of the Ledinsky family, we would like to express our appreciation to Mayor Stephanie Rawlings Blake for continuing this award, which was established by then Mayor Martin O'Malley in 2004. We also wish to thank Mr. Dennis Finnegan, an original member of the award committee, and also thank First Mariner Bank for their initial and financial support. As you my father, served 40, excuse me, my father served 43 years under eight mayors. His love for and dedication to the citizens of Baltimore was constant. On a more personal note, I have many fond memories of coming here as a little girl and visiting my dad's office, seeing him at the Board of Estimates, attending holiday receptions, and watching parades from his office windows. These were special times that were later repeated with my own three sons when they came here with their pop-pop. In conclusion, the Ledinsky family congratulates this year's honorees who have displayed the same love for and dedication to Baltimore City as did our father. Thank you. Ledinsky family that we're, we're taught that when someone passes away, there's the initial pain that they're gone but not forgotten. But when you speak their name, you keep 
them in your memory. And so we speak the name today of Richard, Lidinsky, I'm sorry, Richard Ledinsky. What, like, what I'd like to do at this um, time is now recognize the um, previous winners. I know that some of you are here. Um, our 2012 winner, Beth Stroman. Um, Donald Heinbach, City um, the Fire Department. Deborah Owings from the Police Department. Clement Woolley from the Accounting and Payroll Service Department of Finance. Patricia Williams, Enoch Pratt Library. Then, of course, there was in 2007 George Winfield from Public Works, Richard Keegan from the Law Department. I saw Michael Alexander and Peggy from Department of Human Resources and Peggy Watson from the Department of Finance. At this point in time, we'd like to do um, a video, a short video, um, for the commemorative award year of the 10th year for this award. father had three things in his life that he was very dedicated to. Uh, the first being his family, my mother, and his four children. The second was his church. He was very dedicated to activities at St. Wenceslaus Church. And third, with, right up there with everything else, was his dedication to the city of Baltimore. He was very proud to be a civil servant, always served the mayors and controllers uh, with this highest integrity, with the highest uh, respect for that office knowing all the time that you know being a civil servant that the public was watching you and your duty was was to help them so even the smallest things that uh, took place he would always want to make sure they were right that you know that, that the taxpayers knew that the city government was responding to their concerns and their requests. Since I was the oldest I have more memories than my brothers or sister uh, because I was born in 1946 and he came to City Hall in 1947 as a 27-year-old working for Mayor Del Sandra. So I can remember many a Saturday going to City Hall and in the ceremonial office, the mayor kept the baseball bats from New Orleans return from St. Louis and swinging the bats. I can remember as a graduate student downtown, meeting my father to go home and he'd say, we'll leave at 5.30. Well, 5.30 really meant 6.30. And then walking to the garage, he'd stop and have three or four conversations. So. His whole life focused on the city of Baltimore. I think that there's a reward in being a civil servant that goes well beyond any, any sort of salary. And I think he sensed that. And uh, th that satisfaction of knowing that he helped people. Uh, I can remember we, we would be at home and we'd be eating dinner. And someone would come knocking on the door and saying, uh, I'm too busy during the day to get to City Hall or to make a phone call. But, you know, could I tell you about this intersection we think needs a traffic light or there's, you know, uh, some street that needs to be paved or I think this section would benefit with a recreation center. So long before there was 311 or mayor stations, people would actually come to our house and ask for help. And my father was always willing to stop and take the time, help and follow through and, and see that, you know, again, as taxpayers, as citizens, that their needs were met. I think there has to be at the core a dedication to the city and I sat on the board first before my brother Frank did and we made it very clear at the beginning it's not a longevity award. So the fact that you're with the city X number of years versus someone who's only been here 10, 12 or 15 years shouldn't disqualify the person with the younger service from getting the award. I think it's a burning passion for what the city does, to do your job well and also to outreach to the community because my father had many ties beyond City Hall. And uh, I think that those are the attributes that the award winners have had in these past 10 years. I think what the city has done uh, is a tremendous tribute to my dad because above the word civil servant, in my mind for dad, was always the word passion. And I think the people who have received this award and the people who are you know, fortunate enough to be nominated for it as well as receive it show not only that they're civil servants, but they're passionate civil servants. 
to me it was very significant because I actually knew Mr. Ladinsky. I worked with him for many years. He was a very special person and we shared a lot of uh, work things, uh, matters in work, and, and uh, he also was to a degree a role model for me. And that's why this was extremely special to me. It was, it was amazing, first of all, when you open the letter and the letter says that you won because I did not really think that that was possible. Um, so it was a great surprise um, and it, it's an amazing feeling to be thanked essentially for all the hard work. I've worked for the city for 23 years. Um, but I also have always recognized, even as I opened the letter and I was so grateful to win the award, that I would never have even been in that position without all my fellow employees. Um, you know, really uh, working for city government is a team sport and um, we all have to support each other because there's a lot of challenges. And so there are just so many other people that I immediately thought of that I thought could have won the award and deserved it. Um, but I was very, very happy and grateful to get that honor. Well, first of all, I was shocked. I had no idea I was even, um, you know, in the runnings to win. I was really just doing my job. We created a, a program for utility installer repairers, which are the guys who repair our water mains. And we, wanted, we did it as a means to make sure that the laborers have upward mobility because at that time you could just be a laborer for you know, the length of your career and never have any room to grow upward. So that was the reason for the winning of the award. But uh, we created the position, made sure it was approved, um, and it, we offered it to existing employees uh, from the very beginning as well as to the public. When I start to feel down or I feel defeated, I just think of the fact that I was able to do enough that I was honored with the award and it lifts me up and keeps me going um, and I keep moving forward. I mean, I'm one of those people that has that personality where winning the award, award wasn't enough to rest on my laurels. It only sort of almost added more pressure so that now I have to achieve even more because now I've got that award so I have to live up to it, you know. So, um, but at the same time, it really makes me realize that I've accomplished a lot. I still have a lot to accomplish, but I have accomplished a lot. Mr. Ladinsky set the standard very, very high uh, for public service. Um, you know, having served eight mayors, uh, which I think is phenomenal, but you know, just to show that your dedication to public service um, is one of the highest honors I believe that you can win in Baltimore City. The story of your life becomes the story of the city. And I think that's what he epitomized, and that's what I think we as children of his uh, have hope to carry on. I think Dad would be so pleased that uh, the very place where we spent so much time in the City Hall Rotunda uh, now houses a beautiful plaque, thanks to Governor O'Malley and Mayor Stephanie Rollins-Blake and the subsequent mayors in between, that honors his dedication and his passion to the city. I think he would be so proud. Altogether, it was just uh, a wonderful, you know, step in my career for the city. It's something that I'll always remember and my, my children will also. Greetings. I'm Mayor Stephanie Rawlings-Blake and it is my pleasure to welcome each one of you to the Richard A. Ladinsky Senior Award Ceremony. This year marks the 10th commemorative anniversary and I couldn't be happier to acknowledge the work of an incredible public servant. Mr. Ladinsky was employed with the City of Baltimore for 43 years and served most of his tenure as Deputy Comptroller. During his employment with the City of Baltimore, he set the standard for excellence in public service through the lives he impacted and the city he helped to improve. Honesty, integrity, and loyalty are all words used to describe Mr. Ladinsky. He was a man of character. He was a model citizen. He was a man that touched many lives. He was a man who used his insight and his influence to positively impact his colleagues and his community. That's why the City of Baltimore, in partnership with the Ladinsky family, the Baltimore Community Foundation, the business community, and private benefactors, are pleased to continue offering the Richard A. Ladinsky Award to our city employees. Recipients of the Ladinsky Award represent stellar public service and embody the spirit of the man this award is named after, Richard A. Ladinsky Sr. Thank you, and thank you to this year's recipient for continuing the spirit of integrity, honesty, and loyalty.
Hello, I'm Governor Martin O'Malley. In 2004, when I was mayor of Baltimore, I worked with the Richard A. Ledinsky family, the city's business community, private benefactors, and the Baltimore Community Foundation to establish the Richard A. Ledinsky Senior Award. Why? Because Mr. Ledinsky was a hard-working public servant whose devotion to his family and his beliefs were matched only by his devotion to the people of Baltimore and to those with whom he served. When Mr. Ledinsky retired from City Hall in 1991, he had been employed in the city for 43 years. He served under eight different mayors, and most of his tenure was spent in the Comptroller's Office as the Deputy. Now in that capacity, he served as the Secretary to the Board of Estimates, and he insisted on personally putting his signature on those often mundane but essential documents that run our city's government. His reasoning was that if he used a stamp, someone else could use it too. His Baltimore story? The son and grandson of Czech immigrants, born and raised in East Baltimore, a lover of Hausner's on special occasions, and a fan of the Northeast Market's meat, cheese, and chocolate. And his tie clip always bore the city seal. His devotion deserves continuing honor, and his name should be a continuing source of inspiration to the next generation of outstanding civil servants. This award was an honor for our family that everyone going forward, in some way or another, passed on the passion that my dad had for the city. And it means the world to us that this continues year after year. We're always honored to be there as a family. We're always honored to speak and we're extremely honored to congratulate the recipients that come in the future as well as this year. continues and as we move forward let's talk about this year's recipients. We have two recipients that are receiving honorable mention and I'm very very proud with bias and a lot of pride to introduce the first one. Her name is Myra Blanchard. Year career, um, during that time, she's been the backbone of support for many activities. A lifelong resident, Ms. Blanchard deeply loves Baltimore. I declare she bleeds black and yellow. She's also the go-to expert for colleagues, family, and friends. She's done numerous things that are outside of the scope of her position. She proudly bears the CTA cert certification designation. As a certified tourism ambassador, she serves to increase tourism by inspiring a visitor's encounter, making it positive and a memorable experience. During her tenure with the city, Ms. Blanchard willingly volunteers her time to ensure the success of each chief executive that she serves. These efforts are all outside, as I said, the scope of her job, and she does things from parades to open houses to events, um, and she is consistent in her belief that we must represent and show the executive branch in a positive light. She does it quietly and consistently and can be counted upon. Over the years, she's done a couple of things, too, that we wanted to outline, and that has to do with the African American Festival and the combined charity campaign. And per a letter that was submitted, it stated, Ms. Blanchard has worked diligently in a volunteer role for the festival by serving as the Marshal for City Services. In this capacity, she worked countless hours to ensure all teams hire um, fire, police, transportation, etc., were engaged. She has even dedicated almost all of her non-work hours to growing this event, helping it get recognized by Jet Magazine as one of the must-do events of the summer. Her can-do attitude makes her distinctive, and she's conscientious with energy. She has a passion for helping others. She channels that passion and her role as Combined Charities Campaign Volunteer. Why is that significant? because she's been volunteering for this effort for the last 18 years. Representing the mayor's office, she's the longest serving volunteer in this effort. Her success in making a difference in the lives of those who need help is demonstrated by 
her survivability of the effort to achieve 100% participation. Although she's relentless in her pursuit, she's quiet fire and reminds us of our obligation to give. To whom much is given, much is required. Myra, would you join us? is Mr. James Majors, who's the director of the project, director of project finance, Department of Housing and Community um, Department. Mr. Majors has been responsible for home program and other city lending funds that support affordable housing throughout Baltimore. He has run the programs in an exemplary manner, ensuring that funds are appropriate, appropriately spent, that they are spent on time, and that the housing developed actually benefits low-income residents. Under Mr. Majors, the program has invested tens of millions of dollars for the direct benefit of the people of Baltimore who are struggling to find decent and affordable housing. New housing for low-income people that Mr. Majors has financed literally spans the city, from Uplands on the far west side to Orchard Ridge on the far eastern boundary, and from Brooklyn, Curtis Bay, to the Upper Park Heights. And what sometimes can be a complex city government, Mr. Majors has been able to successfully pave the way for affordable housing. He established a real estate committee composed of members of the staffs of the mayor's office, the council president's office, the controller's office that meets twice monthly to review developments that will be appearing before the Board of Estimates. This panel allows the staff of the board members to review projects and to address any potential issues ahead of the board meetings. He also regularly briefs the board on affordable housing projects so that all parties are familiar for, um, on matters that will pre be presented for a decision. This process has helped to fill, provide full city backing for affordable housing. To get specific, Mr. Majors has overseen financing, construction, and lease upscale I'm sorry, up sale of 6,382 units of affordable housing in Baltimore City. Given the average family size and turnover in units, this means that over 15,000 people have lived in homes that Mr. Majors has, ha has had a hand in. Thus, he has personally been involved in creating housing for 2.5% of the entire city. Mr. James Majors. <laughs> Madam Mayor, um, Madam Controller, and Mr. President of the City Council, I'd like to acknowledge the families of Myra that's here today. If you all would please stand. Thank you very much. Good morning, everyone. Join the uh, City Council President, Comptroller Pratt. I know uh, Councilman Mayor Pat Clark is here, uh, Councilman Ricky Spector, Councilman Carl Stokes, and so many of my other colleagues that are here for the presentation of the 10th <coughs> Annual Ladinsky Award. And wasn't that a fantastic video? Can we give our video production? <laughs> very special. Very special. Uh, each year we take time to recognize those who have gone above and beyond the call of duty to serve the citizens of Baltimore. We still celebrate the long-serving employees who have dedicated themselves to making their agency and our city better. We hope that by bringing attention to these exceptional employees, our newer employees will be inspired by their example. I certainly have been. Of course, I am biased. But I happen to believe that public service is a tremendous honor, and I don't, I, I think you'd be hard pressed to find a, a higher calling. And our honorees today have answered that call with distinction. The winner of the 2014 Ladinsky Award is Mr. Henry Raymond. Yay.
as someone who I know is uncomfortable being in the spotlight, I think for the next 20 or so minutes, you better get used to it. He serves as the Deputy Finance Director for the City of Baltimore, a position he has held since 2010. He oversees the department's five bureaus, Office of Risk Management, and the Administrative Section. With over 30 years of state and local government experience, he has a long and impressive resume. He has served as a finance director for Governor Schaefer and Governor Glenn Denning, chief financial officer for Baltimore City Public Schools, Baltimore City deputy budget and budget director and budget director and director of the state agency of the Central Collection Agency. Within the city finance department, Henry has served as bureau chief for budget, the budget bureau, the bureau of revenue collection, and the bureau of accounting and payroll services. In every one of these roles within the city of Baltimore, he has not only succeeded in that role, but has progressively earned roles with more responsibility. From the implementation of the outcome budgeting to the 10-year financial plan initiatives, resolving complicated tax credit issues to the expansion of online billing, his leadership has enhanced the fiscal integrity of our city. He exhibits a deep commitment to excellence, integrity, and honesty. When citizens call or visit City Hall, Henry personally listens to their concerns and follows up with them to find an answer. When he identifies a process or a policy that's not working effectively, he has worked actively to make changes. Henry, I would like to thank you personally for your hard work and your commitment on behalf of the citizens of Baltimore. You, well, you know, you don't all, you don't just talk the talk, you walk the walk. And anyone who works with you has seen it in everything you do, including refusing to eat any of the lunches that we have because he thinks that it is an inefficient use of taxpayer money. <laughs> Councilwoman, I think a, a ham and cheese sandwich is okay. You know, you know, I think we, 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 we significantly cut back, but he won't even drink the water. <laughs> I've, um, you know, you, you, you used to be teasing you, so I don't have to apologize. <laughs> Uh, I, I just am very, very grateful, and I hope that you soak this in to have an understanding of how much everyone, and I don't think you saw the uh, ovation that you got, um, how much everyone appreciates all of your hard work and your dedication. Thank you so much. say a few things about our honorable mentions for this award. Myra Blanchard has been a phenomenal asset to my administration, employed with the city for 24 years, being in the Office of Human Services, Office of Public Information, and now the Office of Minority and Women-Owned Business Development, where she is one of two employees assigned to the office when it was created in 2001. She is responsible for marketing the department's programs and projects to the business community, the state, city, and other uh, federal agencies. During the Schmoke administration, she was presented with the Employee Recognition Award. Over the years, she has worked tirelessly, as Sharon mentioned, to improve the uh, annual African uh, American Heritage Festival. She volunteers with a combined charity and is a certified, as if anybody had any doubts, a certified tourism ambassador. She is a true public servant and a friend to the city of Baltimore. Please let us thank again Myra Blanchard. And also recognized honorable mention is Mr. James Majors. He started with the city in 1987 as an economic development loan officer with the Housing and Community Development Office. In 1994, promoted to chief of the multi-family commercial development and in 2000, became the director of the Office of Project Finance. He has managed the federal uh, home program, as Sharon mentioned, and has overseen the financial construction, financial construction and leasing of more than 6,000 units of affordable housing in Baltimore City, and I should say much needed affordable housing in Baltimore City. He's, he's received a Heart of Love Award from Aunt Hattie's Place and a Certificate of Appreciation from the U.S. Army Freedom Team Salute. You really uh, possess the qualities that are exemplified by Mr. Ledinsky, and I'm very, very proud of the work that you have done. Let's give him a big applause. <laughs> Before I present the award to you, I do want to take a moment to just thank all of the, uh, the employees that serve our city. 
each and every day. I hope you feel, as I do, extremely, extremely blessed to be able to work on behalf of this city and the citizens who I hope hold very dear to my heart. We have a great city and great public employees. And I just I want to thank the Ladinsky family again for working with uh, Governor O'Malley uh, when he was mayor to develop this award because we all know it. Far too often the only employees that get a, any type of recognition are the ones that are doing something wrong. And we have employees that are willing to make extreme sacrifices to go above and beyond every single day. Uh, they spend more time with us than they do their families, and they do it because they love this city. So I want to thank you for giving us an opportunity to showcase these employees and uh, express our extreme gratitude. So thank you very much. I think, Sharon, am I giving them the awards and then bringing up the comptroller? How are we doing this? And, yes. Okay, so I am going to give um, my, not you yet, Myra and Jim, and then I'm going to bring up, who first? Am I miss? I'm going to bring up city council president as soon as I'm done. One second. Myra. to bring up uh, the Honorable uh, City Council President, Bernard C. Jack Young, and, and, and the, are you gonna let the, well, well I will not. I will bring up the, our Comptroller, who has been a uh, very ardent supporter of the award and all it represents. I wanna thank you for being here, for your commitment, and for recognizing our uh, hardworking city employees. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. I have two citations from the Comptroller's office that I would like to present to Myra Blanchard, Blanchard and to James R. Majors. Would you come forward? They both read the same, except there's a little difference, but I'm going to read them just once in the interest of time. Be it known that this citation is awarded to Myra Blanchard, Minority Development Manager, Mayor's Office of Minority and Women-Owned Business Development, in recognition of your being recommended for the 2013 Richard A. Ladinsky Senior Award for Excellence in Public Service. And Mr. Major, as yours reads, be it known that James R. Majors, Director of Baltimore Housing Office of Project Finance, Department of Housing and Community Development, also in recognition of you being recommended for the 2013 Richard A. Ladinsky Award for Excellence in Public Service. And they both read, congratulations, I commend you for receiving honorable mention for the 2013 Richard A. Ledensky Senior Award for Excellence in Public Service. Through your hard work, sterling character, and amazing ability, the citizens of Baltimore are assured of effective, impeccable service. Time and again, you have demonstrated your capacity to perform your duties with dedication and diligence. Your outstanding performance has assisted in moving Baltimore forward, and I commend your firm commitment to the ideals of hard work and high standards. And for you, Myra, the office, the Mayor's Office of Minority and Women-Owned Business Development and the citizens we serve are proud of your commitment to excellence. And for Mr. Majors, Baltimore Housing, the various city agencies, and also the citizens we serve are proud of your commitment to excellence. And all citizens join me this day for this special recognition. And this citation is given, given under my hand in the Great Seal of Baltimore on the 12th day of March in the year of our award, 2014. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Look right at me, please. Very good. Ma'am, did you hold on to the 
Excellent. That may please ready. Three, two, one. Beautiful. One more. Everyone else? Good. Yes, sir. Okay, ready? At me, please. Slide over just a little bit this way. Excellent. Excellent. Ready? Three, two, one. Thank you very much. One more. Anyone else? Yeah. We're good. Thank you. It's still morning, so good morning to everyone. Good morning. First of all, I'd like to um, thank the Ledinsky family for your continued commitment to um, presenting these awards and making sure that um, your father's legacy is still being followed. Um, I do have um, resolutions for you all, but there was a typo, so um, you'll get it later. Um, but I want to thank you, uh, Myra. Myra walks through City Hall all the time, and she has one of the most beautiful smiles that you ever want to see. And sometimes coming in City Hall, sometimes I'm a little down. If I see Myra, um, it makes my day that much um, brighter. But I want to thank you for all of the hard work that you do day in and day out with um, the, um, the big event that we do down at the uh, Canham Yards, uh, the African American Festival, and all the other things that you do. And Jim Majors, he um, tried to duck me sometime running into <laughs> City Hall because I always want to pick with him and ask him, is there anything that I can vote against? <laughs> and he knows that if it's dealing with affordable housing, he know I'm not voting against that. So um, every time I catch him at the Board of Estimates, I rub him all the time about those kind of things. But um, his commitment and dedication to making sure that um, affordable uh, projects are done in this city is just phenomenal. And I want to thank you for the great work. And either one of these uh, could have won this award. And I'm hoping that in the future, each one of you will have that opportunity. But uh, to Mr. Uh, Henry Raymond, um, I know sometimes he gets sick of him. I, they know how, they, they know my footsteps. Um, and I know they hear him when I come through the finance department with something dealing with um, a constituent issue or complaint. And he does it with a smile. And, and I'm telling you the dedication that this man has um, for the citizens of Baltimore and for his job in general is um, impeccable in my opinion. And um, it's a pleasure um, working with you daily. Um, you know, I call you all the time. You, you, sometimes you're home and you still answer those emails from home, uh, which is great because people want a response back and um, you just on the mark. And I just want to thank you and congratulate you. Can I present this award to you? Okay, so you guys get to us later, and um, I'll ask, <laughs> and I'll ask um, Mark to come up and, and take the pictures with us, if that's okay with you, Madam Mayor. Okay, um, one is from Helen Holton. She did a resolution, and it says, the City of Baltimore resolution, it hereby known to all that the City Council of Baltimore offers a sincere congratulations to Henry Raymond in recognition of your well-deserved honor for your service to the City of Baltimore, winner of the 2013, I guess that should be, is that right? 13? 13? Okay, uh, Richard A. Ledinsky Senior Award. The top membership extends best wishes on this memorable occasion and directs this resolution be presented on this 12th day of March uh, resolution 3191, Helen Holton, and all council members. And this one is from our office. And this is the City of Baltimore Presidential Citation. I, Bernard C. Jack Young, President of the Baltimore City Council, do hereby present this President's Citation to Henry Raymond in recognition of being the 2013 recipient of the pre prestigious Richard A. Ledinsky Senior Award and witness whereof I have affixed my signature to this citation on this memorable occasion given under the corporate seal of the City of Baltimore this 11th day of March in the year 2014. Bernard C. Jack Young. Sir, what we're going to do is we're going to take a photo of Myra. Uh, with Helen's? Yeah, no, no, with that one, but we're going to split you close. Okay, all right. Thank you. That way we're going to cover. Come over this way, please. Anyone else? 
Mr. Henry, could you please come forward? I would like to present this citation to you. And it is... present this citation to you as the Deputy Director of the Baltimore City Department of Finance in recognition of you receiving the 2013 Richard A. Ladinsky Senior Award for Excellence in Public Service. Congratulations on being honored as an exceptional Baltimore City employee. Throughout your tenure, the people of Baltimore have been blessed by your competent involvement in your work and the quality in which you perform your duties. Henry, you are an extraordinary public servant who has earned the respect of the employees of the city of Baltimore, as well as the admiration of the citizens throughout Baltimore City. Your outstanding principles reveal an employee who takes pride in serving our great city. This exemplifies the spirit in which the Richard A. Ladinsky Senior Award for Excellence in Public Service was founded. Best wishes, good health, and happiness are extended to you, and thank you for doing a job well done. And all citizens are, have, all citizens are invited to join me in this special recognition. Um, this citation is given under my hand in the Great Seal of Baltimore uh, on this 12th day of March in the year of our Lord, 2014. Congratulations. Citation, but uh, you can read it later and enjoy it. But this is to, to recognize your winning of the 2013 Rick, Richard Ladinsky Award of Excellence in Public Service. And this, my friend, <laughs> is the actual award. stand up here with me for a second. I'm going to bring up Harry to talk nice about you. <laughs> or whatever he would like to say. <laughs> um, but before, come on up here, uh, Harry, I want to bring up uh, your, your boss, uh, my finance director, uh, Harry Black. But I also want to uh, thank, uh, and I know that you're going to recognize your family, but I want to thank your family. Wave your hand, Mr. Raymond's family. <laughs> Thank you for sharing Henry with us. He has been an incredible asset to my administration and all of my teasing is just in good fun. As a fellow public servant who loves the city, 
I, I, um, I'm very proud of him and all of his accomplishments, and I consider myself blessed to have him on my team. With that, I'll over to Harry Black. I'll be brief. Good morning, I'm Harry Black. Uh, thanks to the family, uh, Madam Mayor, Madam Comptroller, President Young, other members of the council. Uh, I was standing in the back last year at the ceremony and I was just uh, really enjoying the, the program. And I said to myself, next year, Henry Raymond is gonna be standing up there accepting this award. Uh, and we made it happen. Uh, I'd like to, to give a special thanks to Barbara Berry of my staff, uh, Janice Simmons and Joanna Macides for helping to put the nomination package together. Uh, I think this award has a, it will have continued uh, success uh, based on the talent that's at every level of city government here. The selection uh, panel will continue to be challenged in terms of making that tough decision. In terms of Henry, uh, this is the first time that I've had a deputy. I wasn't quite sure how it was gonna work out, but it's worked out beautifully. Uh, Henry, I you know, have much respect and appreciation for your uh, work ethic, your commitment, your reliability, dependability, uh, and your humility. Uh, it serves as an example for me every day when I, when I work with you. Uh, and just thank you for being you. Good afternoon. Uh, I'd like to say uh, this is a very humbling experience. I was honored when I learned that I had been nominated uh, for the prestigious Richard A. Ledinsky Senior Award. As I've spoken to some of you, when I learned that I had been selected to actually receive the reward, it was a very humbling experience. In accepting the award, I'd like to acknowledge the other two finalists, Ms. Myra Blanchard and Mr. James Majors, for they were equally deserving of the award. So let's give them another round of applause. As I stand here this morning, uh, it's starting to sink in that this is truly a once in a lifetime moment. I'd like to give thanks to a number of people. First and foremost, <clears throat> I'd like to say thank you to my wife, Ann. Uh, <clears throat> we've been married for uh, 32 years. We have uh, two young adult children and it would, I would not be standing here today if it had not been for Ann's unwavering support over the years. I'd also like to thank my parents who are here in attendance today, uh, Dr. and Mrs. Henry Raymond. I, I thank you for everything. I'd also like to thank uh, Mayor Rollins Blake for allowing me to be a part of her administration. I thank the finance director, Harry Black, for nominating me for the award. As many of you know, uh, I was not aware of the nomination, so it, it came as a, a little bit of a surprise. But I thank you, Harry. Uh, there were key staff people that helped prepare the nomination package, uh, Barbara Berry, Janice Simmons, and again, uh, Joanna Mercedes, so I thank you very much. I'd also like to give thanks to key individuals who prepared uh, nomination, written recommendations on my behalf, 
Council President Jack Young, Councilman uh, Bill Cole, and Councilwoman Helen Holton. I'd also like to give thanks to all of the employees in the Finance Department for their support of me. In all of my uh, tenure with Baltimore City Government, I've only been with one department, the, the Finance Department. I started in 1997, and I just want to say thank you to all of the employees of the Finance Department because they've been very cooperative, very helpful in all of the endeavors that we've attempted to achieve over the years, so I thank you very much. And finally, I'd like to thank all of you that are here today in support of this ceremony today in support of not just myself, but also Myra and Jim. I really can't put into words um, the gratitude that I feel that everyone is here. And as I look in the audience, I see many faces that I've known for nearly 20 years now. So I thank you for everything you've assisted me with professionally and personally. In closing, I'd like to say, as a city government employee, and I say that proudly, because we should be proud to be city government employees. It's our responsibility to do the best that we can every day, day in and day out, to provide the best possible service that we can to the citizens of Baltimore. The citizens of Baltimore deserve no less than our best effort, day in and day out. And with that said, I thank you very much, and I'm going to retreat from this line. <laughs>